阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥。Thank you, everyone, uh, for joining the session today. From the look of the title, it may sound like uh, some sort of a mythical stuff like that, but it's actually containing important message of how one person um, can reform. And in order to reform, one must not deceive themselves. Uh, how serious if one lie to themselves or deceive themselves uh, and the consequences goes beyond simply, you know, psychologically not um, sincere or anything, but it actually affects your people, the family and everyone around you because um, of self-deception or not being honest uh, with yourself and others. So what do, I, what do I mean by deceiving oneself, uh, lying to yourself? I mean, I'm, uh, how can I lie to myself? I'm clear what I'm doing. I, I'm seeing what I'm doing. Lying to yourself in the context of Liao Fan and context of Yu Jingyi, actually more pronounced in Yu Jingyi, is um, doing something uh, subconsciously you might know it's not right, but you kind of um, like kind of like self hypnosis, like telling yourself it's I'm a good guy, I'm a good person, but deep down you know it's not um, because you do that just to get the fame and uh, you know just to. Uh, gain some fame score instead of being sincere about it. So it goes back to the same message that I'm trying to say. Um, so much kindness. If you want to boil down all this kindness, what makes it different? What makes it real? What makes it fake? What makes it straight? What makes it crude? What makes it proper? What makes it improper? What makes it actual? What makes it apparent? What makes it big? What makes it small? It's the heart. Mm -hmm. It's the sincerity. If one is not real, not really want to do that, um, Instead, they just do it for the sake of do uh, you know show or fame or anything. Then obviously it will not be perfect because the seeds are not correct. The plantation of the seeds is not correct. So back to the point. Uh, set aside all the metaphors. Mister Yu, uh, historically he's a real person. He's born in Ming Dynasty around fifteen hundreds. That was about the later part of the Ming Dynasty before the Qing. Came in, so it's in Jiajing, the time of Emperor Jiajing. Um, this Mr. Zhang, after saying that I know what happened to you guys, your family, because your mind is too evil. That's it. He directly said that your your mind is too evil. You think too much unwholesome, uh, evil thoughts, and you to put a lot of effort in hooking a few minutes of fame. So you put your effort in fame and your mind is already containing a lot of evils. Be careful when we read this, we don't want to just sit at the side and look at Mr. Yu, ha, ha, he thinks of all the evil thoughts. Remember, he already reformed. Think of about us. How much of this uh, mentioned by Mr. Zhang, the kitchen god, that we have or worse than him? I'm pretty sure we would have a, find something we can reform on. So the first thing is the thought is evil. And the second thing is hooking up fame. So he's trying to get fame instead of actually doing good. So on your report that you submit to the heaven or court of appeal, something like that, um, the whole piece of paper is full of complaints, complaints, complaints. Like it sounds like, oh, I'm a good person. Why do you treat me like that? I'm a good citizen, something like that. And, and this one is like a humiliation to the heaven because all these judgments are passed down and, and executed by, I mean, uh, yeah, ex uh, reinforced uh, by, uh, enforced by the, 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 all the 
gods and beings. As you can see later when we talk about Taizang Gai Yin Pian, the tributes and retributions of the um, heavenly emperor. Basically, cause and effect. What I'm trying to say is cause and effect is working as intended. So now when you say all these kind of complaints, it's like you're humiliating the whole system, the whole judgment of cause and effect. Um, so because of that, I'm afraid not only that you will get reassessment to alleviate your suffering, you might get even more punishment out of that. Oh, so when Mr. Yu heard this, he, he's shocked, he's absolutely shocked. So this is where I'm trying to say is, this is a story of a person who were trapped in his own illusions for so many years, since 18 years old, or maybe even earlier, all the way to the age of 47. Guys, think about how many years is that, 47, 18 to 47. A lot of us, most of us in youth group is 20, 30. And we are very lucky to realize that there is this book telling us about this person. So he's been thinking like that, he's fine. And the world is unfair to him for all these years, 20-ish years. And so, so, so he was shocked when he was awake by the, own, the God that he prayed every day. Kitchen God, they still have uh, the, the, the affinity. So he heard, so he know, he know the laws, look at that. He heard, I heard that in the uh, world of the, you know, cause and effect in the spirits, um, every single good deeds will be recorded in your book, in the book of the, uh, uh, in the book of deeds, good and bad. Basically like the record, right? the record of good, record of criminals. So um, I have, so to do all the good deeds and i have followed them to the letter i have followed all these uh, teachings to the letter precepts to the letter uh, for a long time for many many years since what since he was like a young adult he has that charity guys right he promote all this um uh, uh, save the resource save the money and uh, don't waste food and stuff um, follow the five precepts those are good things uh, so how can it be fake how can it be uh, for fame uh, actually, so Mr. Zhang said, as you have said yourself, as you promoted, you want to promote saving the papers. Do not waste the papers. For your context, the paper in ancient time is not as available as we have now. We have a, like the industrial machine and, you know, cut tons, tons of trees and then just do it in, in millions and billions. In back then, you need to use manual work, and it's it's a lot of pain, I mean, long process. So this is a good thing, good initiative. However, Mr. Zhang said, uh, Okay, so however, you your own student, and, and those people who know you, your, your friends, and your own student in this society, because he, he, he has um, enlisted a lot of students in his uh, society. There are a lot of them, they use the books, all right? And, and they, 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 the way they treat the paper is they use um, those, um, they use the paper that meant for the, for the windows to wipe the tables. So basically, He's quite, uh, this, or he used the old books. So I'm trying to make sense of this Chinese word. Wait. 君之生徒与之交备,多用书文旧册,胡窗果物, 甚至以知识桌,且借口约物物而玄焚之. Okay. Hypocrisy. So what happened to his case is, he publicly trying to promote saving paper, you know, precious paper, use it for the, you know, propagation of good teachings. However, what in action, in reality, what he actually do is his own student and his own friends in the society of Wenchang, the God Wenchang society, um, he used the old books, all right? He used the papers from the old books or the, the discarded books and all these, you know, like uh, leftover papers that are meant for the windows. There's no glass back then, guys. They use paper for windows. And they use that to wipe on the on the table. So it could it could have been reused as like, you know, writing another book, but they use it to wipe the table, like a cloth. And 
And then they say that, oh yeah, we should not uh, uh, taint the paper. Paper are precious. We should use it for better purpose. And then he burned them all away. So he's trying to say save the paper, but he used the paper for the purpose that could be served by a cloth. So he instead of using it for books, he used it to wipe the table, which is disrespectful to the to the teachings. And then he say, okay, yeah, uh, because uh, this paper were being you know tainted by the paper uh, table stain, so I need to burn it away as a sign of respect. So basically, it's it's not what he says, not what he did. So every day I'm seeing what you did. Every day I'm looking at what you did. All right. So give you another example. Bu jie yu yi yu. Bu jie yu yi yu, dan yu yu jian zi zi se wu fu you he yi zai. Okay, I don't understand that. So zhong mei yue fang sheng. Okay, talk about the letting go of life. Fang sheng. All right. Ah, sui bang pen zhu er ren chen shi shang zhu zhu. Oh, releasing animals in captivity to back to their nature is good things. However, he did that just to follow the trend instead of actually doing it on his own kind heart. He's following the big group. Everyone's trying to release uh, the wildlife to captivity. He just follows suit. When no one's doing it, he's just not doing it at all. So he just do it when people's doing it so that he might he appear as one of the good peoples. But when no one's doing it at all, he's just gone. He disappeared. Okay? That means he, he's, he's not really wanting to do this. He just do it just to follow everyone. Uh, that means even though your action might look compassion, you would do all this, you know, release the animals to the wild, but you have no actual compassion in your heart or your compassion in the heart remains hidden, is not activated, that will be more accurate. You never touch a heart of compassion. Why? At your home, look at your own dishes. There are a lot of craps as part of your dinner menu. All right? And none of them is safe from your butcheries. So one, in, on one hand, you say, I want to save life. Uh, this is a, a fish I bought from the market. I release it to the wild. We should love them all. Or I wish you release the birds. At home, you roast a pigeon and roast a fish with the sweet and sour sauce for your whole family. And it's the same fish, something like that. You can see that comedic yet um, sad kind of uh, uh, realities happens. Aren't these beings that you eat life as well? So there you go. One is paper, one is letting go of life. Those are two main things. Um, yeah, he used these two examples to show that he's not uh, practice what he preached. And then he moved on to another thing he promotes. Take care of your words. Be careful of the words. Do not uh, slander, lie, bad-mouthing, stuff like that. And also talk something uh, non not meaningful. Your ways with word, Mr. Yu, is miraculous. You have your way with words. He started with this. Jun Yu Yan Ming Miao. Tan Zhe Chang Qing Dao Yu Jun. Every time people trying to talk to you or uh, discuss something you, none of them can debate over you. In short words, he already point out his way of speech. Is he always want to cover over other people instead of having a, a, a good exchange? Jun bi shi chu kou xin yi zhi zhi shang hou, dan yu peng tan guan shu zhi zhong sui feng shan xiao bu neng jing zhi. And beyond that, every time you talk, right, with others, you know sometimes the word you go about to say is harmful. And might even, you know, support it. It's like it might, it might be a insult to your friends. Uh, sometimes beyond just comedy, it might be insultful. However, among the people you're familiar with, your dear close friends, your um, your classmates and stuff, who you are familiar with, you follow this conversation and you added a lot of um, uh, unnecessary sarcasm, or sometimes uh, more than sarcasm. It's more like um, humiliation. 
or laughing at them, not laughing with them. So you talk in your conversation, you always laugh at them. Added a lot of um, sharp remarks and sarcasm. And you couldn't stop. Like, it's not like one or two. It keeps going and going and going. And you can imagine when you talk to someone, uh, it's fine to have a bit of laugh and things. But if that person keeps going and going and go deeper and dig even deeper without, you know, taking care of everyone's uh, uh, sentiment and understanding, yeah. then it becomes uh, hard to talk. Everyone becomes awkward. So that's what happened with him. Uh, he has a very way, good way. I mean, he has his way with words. He's very sharp in his tongue. And he always able, he always wins in debates. 